You know what a lobotomy is? Look, he became a f alpha. He became a G. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I paid for reclaimed dab. They called it Uber Goo. It was $2 a hit. MRI in middle. I'd be in there naked. Butt cheeks out. Yeah, I thought he, were, he was out kind of a doctor you going to. Oh, man, he chucked yeah, that. He oh. I used to chain smoke, switch sweets. But How many? All of them. I was buying boxes. <laughs> There's 60 in a box. Oh, that's some real fiend shit. Bro, they just did a study. 24 bars. Eight of them had T instead of psilocybin. My bad, my bad. Oh, Bro, what oh, the oh. was that? Hey, listen, this is Pine Park After Dark, episode 114, man. I'm your host, mm. Eric Khan. We got Tim over there. This episode is kindly sponsored by the kind people over at Base Smokes, man. Make sure to scan the little QR code to get yourself a free eighth. All you got to do is pay shipping. They also got a lot more weight on the website if that's what you want to get. From $50 ounces, you know, rosin, this and that. But it's free. Just scan, you know, scan the code, pay shipping. Mm. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, man. Yeah, fresh woods. I'm not sure what this is. It's a leaf wrap. Why does is Russian cream like the most? I feel like every single brand that makes a blunt, they always have a Russian cream. You think it's like the most popular? I think it's very popular. I don't know why. Maybe people Me like neither. that creamy taste. I, I do like the cream. I'm not gonna lie. Like if I'm smoking a backwood, it's like, you know, give me the Russian cream. He said, "I do like the cream. I do like the cream, man. <laughs> Only if it's Russian, though. <laughs> I wonder if there's any other cream. You can open that. Why is it Russian? Why is it Russian? Ooh, yeah, good like what? Question. What about it makes what, it? What, what if this was it like? Russian? What if American it's cream. British cream, yeah. British cream, I don't remember. Uh, yeah, it's fucking, yeah, it's probably stinky. Yo! No doubt stinky. Yeah. Right, let's see what these are looking like, though, because we I got um like... something to roll up. The award-winning, award-winning, come on, placed baby. at Za Olympics, come Michigan. On. Shout out to our kind people over at Doghouse for growing just some of the best weed cool. in the Shout whole state Justin, of Michigan, man. apparently. Yup, yup. Pink Passion, our newest strain over there. Come on. One third at the Za Olympics, which oh, is cool. very, you know, Za Olympics is pretty up there. Yeah, oh, definitely, man. There's a lot of a fire, small batch flour. A lot of there. fire. A lot so of fire. for us to pull out uh, in a top three is a blessing. So shout out again to uh, the Doghouse team. We love you guys, man. Yeah, that's a big deal right there. That's fucking, oh, the Pink Passion is some of my favorites. We were, I, we were really just excited about the Pink Passion forever, too, you know? Yeah, no, it's honestly... Uh, it's it's got great bag appeal, but that nose oh is my goodness. so just like it it's really something that you remember. Crazy. It's very memorable. I want to see what got second and first, honestly. Yeah, because like what? Like what? Like what? You know? I feel I mean? like it's also like subjective too, like on what the the people judge and like. Nugs one eighth. Come on, that's man. like a perfect eighth. That is a perfect eighth. That's a perfect eighth, eighth, eighth right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is. Like you get that from the plug, you're hype. You're like, what you're the lit. fuck? You're lit. Three yeah. eighth. Would you like? Do you like smaller or bigger nugs, or does it not matter at all? Mm, I don't think, I mean, obviously I prefer like big nugs, you know, just if you're so going you to pictures and stuff, but in terms of the actual smoke experience, I don't really care. Okay. So I'm going to break it up. Anyway, social you know? media wise, it's like a yeah, big nug nice is fucking gas. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice to have the big okay. one for but sure. But like smokeability, do you, it, I don't think, cause you, you think break it up anyway, all? right? I mean, there's got to be some difference. Cause like people say like the colas are the best, right? Or they have the most. They're you would most, think so, right? Kind of common sense. Like right. those are like maybe where all the energy is being focused yeah, on the plant. Yeah, yeah. There's while like the smaller something buds going are on like there. A little... More terpenes, more, you know, cannabinoids. I don't know. That's what I would assume. Yeah. But from personal experience, I'm not sure if I've ever like, oh yeah, this is a bottom of the plant. Like I can tell, you know? I want, you know, it'd be a good thing. We do a blind taste test. Ooh, we same strain. Don't tell you oh. if it's smalls or if it's a big nug. And we nice. grind, grind it up and see if there's a difference. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. I no wonder doubt. if anybody's lab test probably right. They've tried me. I wonder if there's a uh, cannabinoid percentage difference with a lab test on smalls versus the tops. Is like, if you run concentrates, do you get less if you run the bottom? Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. True. You know what I'm saying? You say you think a lot of the concentrates is from the bottom? Um, the, the top, as they sell, maybe if they're doing. Both. I think a lot of concentrates are whole plant. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah I like think I've plant. seen that on the thing before. <clears throat> whole plant. Yeah, 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 it'd be like fresh, pl fresh, frozen, whole plant or something like mm. whole plant, fresh, frozen, WPFF mm. or some shit. Oh, that's what that means? Yeah. What do you think it means? I don't know. I was trying <laughs> to figure it out. <laughs> Damn. Like, what is, what is whole this? Whole plant, fresh, fresh frozen. frozen. Yeah, that's what it is. Wow. I yeah. see that on a lot of jars. Yeah. Which is cool. Like to, to like, then, you know, you know, it's the trim. It's the, the, the top colors, the small colors, it's everything. You've got everything. And I feel like that's what you want, right? If you when want that yeah, if you're doing entourage effect, right? Yeah, I want it yeah. all. I want what that plant had to offer. Okay, I feel that. That makes sense then. I'm on your side. I'm down for the whole plant. I don't want just the tops. 
I feel like if you want the headiest of heady stuff, maybe just the tops. But I don't really know. I haven't done extraction shit in so fucking long. Like Ooh. I don't, I don't even know. Since like, the BH Ho days. What are the yeah? Like what are the guys making this? The water hash. Like I've only washed hash like two or three times in my life, and mm-hmm. it definitely wasn't anything special. So was I don't. It cold? Huh? Was it cold? Yeah, it was definitely <laughs> cold. <laughs> but I just don't understand. Like like. Are, are they washing just the top colas, or do they not? Mm. Does that not matter? Right. Can you wash trim and still get dumpy ass yields? Yeah. Like, were you washing in like a facility or like a crib? Nah, I was in my fucking uh, like one bedroom apartment, dog. Damn, how did With you get? Homies. How did you get it that cold? Huh? Or like, how did you get it that cold? You know? I mean, the room was as cold as my AC would get it, right? <laughs> like sixty degrees. So that it's not freezing, but then it was also just like the you use the ice and shit, right? Mm. Mm. Okay. So it wasn't ideal at right. all, but and all working. that shit turned moldy anyways because I, oh. I, I didn't know how to dry it because I was like I was just dumb eighteen year old. Oh, I didn't even just know you like could a kid. dry it. So what are you what are you supposed to do? Uh, you supposed to like mic well like before they had like the freeze dryers right. tech. You oh, would just okay. you would you're supposed to I didn't notice till after you're supposed to microplane it and then oh. let it dry. But you you freeze the like the hash and you microplane it so it's real small, right? So right. It's more surface area. Okay. Okay. My dumb ass. I. In my head, I knew what hash was. It was like little temple balls. Yeah. That's what I knew. So I was like, bet. I'm going to roll it up. So then when I cut them open, there was mold in the middle. Because I didn't let them dry properly. <laughs> so I, just, I done wasted like a few pounds of weed learning that oh. shit. Oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Me and you my, you me, tried it twice? Did you try it one more I time tried it like two that? or three times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it just never was. I was like, bro, I'm going back to... Not blasting BHO in Skin my backyard. Getting some plants. <laughs> 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 like fuck, man. Weed, weed stuff is crazy. Nah, Do you ever no you ever try growing weed again after you you killed that one? Um, plant? no, but the they sent me another one. They sent me a whole other like little. Device. You gonna give it? A, you gonna give it a go? I'll give it another run. Yeah, All right. Yeah, maybe at the new cribo. Oh, okay, you know, maybe nice, we'll some, nice, man, thing. nice. Maybe give me some fingers tips. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Some I think. Tips. I think. Uh, what is it? The the Abbey or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that yeah, little yeah. bad boy. It fucked up the first time, but hey. We're we'll gonna try what's again. We're gonna see try what's again, man. And I'm, I'm excited ready. to see what's popping, man. Grow oh, so since weed. when's the last time you grew some weed? Last time I grew some weed when I was living up on a mountain for sure. Oh, so it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a minute. Mm-hmm. You haven't even like tried your hand at like just one plant for fun kind of vibe. Nah, it's a lot of work, huh? Just to like have a. <sighs> yeah, not even that. It's a lot of work. I just, I, uh, I don't know. I think I grew too much weed and like. Was like <laughs> you I was got burnt like, out of growing weed. I was like, man, I don't want to do this shit no more. Damn. I was like, I do not love growing weed. Oh. <laughs> like some people love that shit. I do not love growing weed at all. You just did it to sell that shit after? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to. Mm, I feel that. I was trying to. Did you ever love it or was you only do it for to like Nah, I was like, just trying to make money. Mm. Nah, I didn't growing weed is not my thing. I'm allergic to that shit, so I hate it. Oh. It's like the worst. You were always me. allergic? Yeah, it's the worst. Like I go into the grow room, I'm leaving with hives, like guaranteed. Whoa. I fucking Even if hate you don't it. touch it or anything. I hate it. Damn. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even when I go into the fucking other grow rooms, like on tours, yeah, I'd be stuff. like trying not to touch it. Yeah, yeah, it's like, dangerous. Fuck, don't touch me. I'm just allergic as fuck to it. It's crazy. That's so weird. I know. Whenever I tell it to somebody, they're like, you picked a crazy career path for being yeah, allergic for to real. weed. Dumbass. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> You're always allergic to it, like even as a kid? Or, like, can you grind, like, what happens if you grind up weed like this? Not, like, my hands is cool, but if it touches, like, my arms, it just, like, immediately I'll get, like, a hive. It's weird. Really? It's, it's really. So I put this to your skin, you get a hive? Um, maybe, but it's more like, <laughs> you're such a dick. <laughs> it's more like, uh, we go to a grow. Mm. I don't know what it is. It's when like it's a alive. plethora of it. Or when like maybe it's in the air, the little pollen Pollen or, or something. Something about it. it something when it's alive, be fucking me up. Oh, when it's alive. It'd be, it'd be fucking me up. When like, when it's break, when I'm breaking it down, I usually just be like sneezing and shit. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. What about like a turkey bag? Will that fuck you up? I don't like smelling. I never liked uh, smelling pounds of weed. What? Yeah, because it all, it'd make my allergies go crazy. Oh, okay, okay. That yeah, makes sense. Like, obviously, I would enjoy that. But, yeah, yeah. I was like, wait, wait. Right, right. But, like, no, nah, the allergy shit is fucking weird. Mm. When I, so that's when I found out about dabs, bro. It was literally like heaven sent. I was like, this shit is fucking <laughs> sent for me. Do you remember your first dab? Yeah, yeah, we've talked about this a few times, man. The first dab, I had this a great story, though. This, this is one you could repeat. This is a repeatable story, fuck. Yeah. Because the first dab was disgusting. It oh, was, it was, was this the fucking, one where you went to the, um, the, the bar? Store? Yeah. I went to the, the bar, bar, bro. It was on Ventura Boulevard. It was on Viterbo. It was called Kind Meds, bro. It was damn. Had a had a little hash bar, and it was a big hash bar. It was like a U. And I bought, I paid for Reclaim Dab. I, <laughs> I didn't. They called it Uber Goo. That's what it, the name of it was, bro. It was two dollars a hit, and it was black as fuck. This shit smells like chocolate. What? It smells Doesn't it smell weird. like cream. Get in there. Yeah, it smells like. You're, you're starting to become a smeller. I like it, dog. I mean, I couldn't even help it. It just like oh. oh. <laughs> I'm sorry to this brand for that reaction. I apologize because that was uncalled for. That was uncalled for. I even warned you. 
Hey, by the way, did you know Pine Park is actually more than just a YouTube channel and a podcast? We got cannabis, man, and we got cannabis in a lot of different states, man. First up, of course, here in California, we've partnered up with our great people over at Green Dog to bring you some of the greatest flavors and some of the best bud that this state has to offer. Green Dog is pretty much known as some of the best flower in the whole country. So the fact that we're able to team up with them and get into over 30 stores up and down the state, it means a lot, man. We got the Super Condi, we got the Grape Nuts, which are our newest ones. Make sure to check those out, man. Next up, we got Michigan over there in the Big Mitten, man. Our team over at Doghouse, we've been over there a lot recently. We've been throwing parties, having a lot of people try out our flavors, and they're loving it, man. The Gray Shit Gold, mm. the Pink Passion, over 40 stores, all over the state make sure to cop those lions fans i know you smoke a lot of bud get some bud in you man from pine park moving on over to the east coast guys you know we got massachusetts locked in in 10 different stores oh yeah so if you guys are over in the area please please be sure to check us out and then also we're locked in with the new launch of florida guys yeah. something special going on over there we're exclusively launching at gold flower strains like goofy peanut butter breath and the brand new drop, you guys might have seen our little commercial for it, the lemon pastries, all right? Tasty. It's perfect for the, you know, the sunshine vibes that you get out there at the beach, man. Grab some of that lemon pastries, head to the beach. And then lastly, we got Oklahoma. We are exclusive at PRG Dispensaries, all right? That is an exclusive there, only at PRG Dispensaries. Make sure that uh, you're smoking out there. If you see something that you like, hit us on uh, Instagram, Twitter, and drop us a little love. Yes, sir. That's five different states, and we're coming to a lot more, man. Whether you are close or in the state, make sure to get some Pine Park. It's worth traveling for, mm. I promise. It's like some extremely... It's no, it's like... It, it just shocked me. Yeah, it did shock It's not it bad. It shocked me as well. It's not bad. It's, it's almost like some really strong coffee it is coffee it's like straight coffee. it's like strong coffee <laughs> like you drink that shit you better be ready for the fucking ride oh is that is that what it looks like yeah flat leaf huh it looks i mean it looks pretty chill There's does no it have tears. a stem down the One fucking metal down the at least the stem is not this way what the that's, fuck that's like the main thing about uh, backwoods and stuff it's i was not expecting it to have it. a stem in one of these though because like you can i thought cut around it i feel like you know or like can I just cut right here? Like, Use the other you square, the dumbass. <laughs> like, throw that side. square in the trash. <laughs> Jackass. Hey, it'll be all right. It'll burn fine, though, because like you said, it's not a fucked up. It's not, it's up not a fucked Hopefully up one. Maybe that's nice. why they kept it. Mm. Maybe that's why they kept it. And if it's one of the other ones, they like, all right, we can't. Perhaps. Let's see. Know. It looks okay. It's bendable. It's not really okay. Is it dry? I don't think so. Maybe a little dry, honestly. It sounds I, different. It sounds a little dry. I don't know what that. if that makes any sense. ASMR? It doesn't sound... Like it's, I don't know, just licking it first. Gotta wet it up, man. Oh, okay. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time I've seen this blunt technique. <laughs> oh, it tastes like coffee for sure. This tastes crazy. You're, yo, if we can get a fucking, just a this solid frame pure. of it. <laughs> he had an absolute look of disgust on his face when he licked it. This just is pure, pure disgust. fucking tobacco I feel it like I just licked so a cigarette or something. I'm going to get so lightheaded smoking that. No, it's going to be okay, man. Oh, it's going to be awesome, but I might fucking... And we got the award-winning pink passion inside. Hey, is this disrespectful? Let us know in the comments. If you have a really, really great bud, is it disrespectful to put it in a blunt wrap? Oh, I was like... Or is that like chew? You know, what's, what's your... If you got like the pack pack, you got the heady stash on you, you know what I mean? You don't get this around very often, very rare flavor. What are you putting it in? Are you like enjoying it in a bong? Are you smoking it all at once in a joint, rolling it up in a blunt? Like, what do you are you saying it's disrespectful because the tobacco alters the flavor? Yeah, that's gotcha. what I mean. That's what I would think. Like you're honestly. smoking it in a Russian, this fucking in a motherfucking Russian cream. Maybe if it was like a straight, smells you know. like a chocolate fucking coffee over here. <laughs> so like, are you gonna even taste the weed? Basically, yeah. But well, well, let's hope. You know what I used to tell people when I smoked blunts? I was like, man, if the, they were like, oh, you can't even taste it in that blunt. Really? Well, if your weed didn't suck, mm, you'd be able to taste it. You might be onto something. So if your there. weed's good enough, I'll taste it through the fucking tobacco. So Dang. get better weed. That was my that was my excuse when I was smoking blunts. No, nah, that's gangster. I fuck with that. That's smart. I was like, get out of here with your mid. <laughs> You're smoking dog shit. <laughs> it's gonna. It's. But then I think I feel like people use flavored blunts when they got mid too, though. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. It's like to hide the mid on purpose. Yeah. It's like I don't want to taste this. Like I'd rather taste blueberry <laughs> <laughs> instead of. We gotta, get some, we gotta get some motherfucking spray pack. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> chill, 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 chill. They're loving it. I feel like I haven't seen too much of that on social thankfully, media lately. Yeah, thankfully. That, that like kind of like died off. Did or you something. see they're stopping Galaxy Gas production? You think it's true? Nah, they probably just rebrand it. They're not gonna stop. They knew what they was doing. 
the, I seen a I seen a thing where they were showing like the commercials of the website mm-hmm. where they was going through all like their recipes and shit. And it's like, bro, <laughs> they're working, bro. That's a it's like a commercial grade. Yeah, but like food. Thing. They did the math on one of the Galaxy cans versus like how many servings one whipped cream can. It was like it was like twenty five million or some shit, bro. <laughs> it was like some fucked up number, bro. Like like impossible bro, to like, use even one can of Galaxy can. It didn't matter if you had the biggest rest if you had Cheesecake Factory, bro, <laughs> and you was just running that bitch nonstop. Like you you wouldn't use it. Like it's just impossible. <laughs> they know what they was doing, man. They fucking kids up. They fucking kids up with that shit. But it's not new. Yeah, like, yeah. Nitrous it op- kind of sucks that like it's like a jewel moment where it's like, why did they get fucked? Like there's gonna be like ten other companies that sell the exact same thing, you know? And it's like, oh, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. Like, that's it's, lame. It's just like I don't know. Like that shit's not new. Like like I've been saying ever since I seen the guy, I was like, oh, this reminds me of like house parties in high school with balloons. yeah, yeah. She was just balloons instead, bro. Like it was totally different. Like I don't. I definitely was friends with the guy who just had a tank of nitrous. He's just like, <laughs> where would they fill that up? I don't fucking know. I yeah, have no, right? I never got to that part. I don't know where they would fill it up before, but now they just sell it at the gas station. Dude, do they is, actually? I mean, well, uh, smoke shop. Smoke shops for smoke sure, shop, yeah, but I mean, gas shop. station's close enough. Like, you can just walk right in there, bitch. I mean, you know? yeah. You might honestly be able to pull up at the gas station and get a Galaxy gas. The- 7-Eleven wow. sells Galaxy Seven, gas. 7-Eleven, that's actually The biggest pocket. mindfuck to me moving to LA was 7-Eleven is not a gas station everywhere here it's like not major, everywhere it's Somewhere. like a convenience Some, store most of the time sometimes here, like, yeah, yeah most of, most of the time it's a convenience store here which is crazy i is think it's 7-eleven like straight slurpee and gas that's what you think of yeah there's every time you know what's crazy you said it when i would see a 7-eleven gas station when i'm younger i'd be surprised i'd be like huh no way I'm like i didn't know they sold gas <laughs> i thought they sold snacks <laughs> like wow that's <laughs> actually crazy to think about uh yeah we had two different experiences with 7-Eleven. What do you look for? What I need? Look for a little stuffer. I want to go to Asian 7-Eleven, man. That's what I want. They're supposed to be bringing some of that shit. I saw to ours. that actually. I saw oh, that. It's very. Interesting. I don't have a stuffer. I'll take that. Oh, there it is. There's oh, the real good one. Good stuff. Thanks, man. Whoa, it's a thick stuffer. This one's been through the fucking mud. Look at that, that one. That one's Jason's probably. <laughs> Jason <laughs> be rolling Jace. up. He be rolling up. I feel real special using re- Jason's special <laughs> stuffer. <laughs> that guy be stuffing. That guy be stuffing. Seven days a week. Seven days a week stuff. <laughs> man, the Munch episode we just filmed was fucking great. I'm yeah, a, shout I'm out to the Munch, man. Hey, you, oh, that full. was a, a rating and a half that you gave it. I'm full. Never seen such a rating from Tim. If you want to see Tim really enjoy himself on mm. this Munch episode, which is rare, mm. which is rare. You know, he enjoys the food, but this time it was like, nah, this you was were, actually. You were dancing. I had I'd never I, seen the food make you. Dance I hit a 360. Lie, I made, you hit a 360. Yep, yep. Shit was crazy. We was out here hitting trick shots at this place, man. It was honestly fire. His dry rip is absolutely bananas. I'm not going to lie. I'm so the, intimidated. It's the craziest dry rip. I, I am so intimidated right now. I don't want to hit Dude, that. the pink passion is unreal. <laughs> I don't like, The pink passion is unreal. How did that not win first place, man? I want to see what they had at first and second. Like, I almost need to smoke because it. Because it's, sub- it's subjective. Like, I feel like the top But you like, agree on any you of know, Everyone agrees, though. You know, they have like a little panel, perhaps, a committee. Yeah, but it's like those people could could have just liked... Like, you like this one better, right? And they're you like, know, yeah, they're yeah, like, they're like, oh, these terps are just like more like, cause I like OG stuff better, right? Mm, you know, so if there yeah, was an, like OG, a, like an OG, I'm picking or GMO. What I'm all picking the OG okay, because okay. that's just what I like. I see where you're coming from, right there. Even even though I I know that's like a ten out of ten smoke, I'm still like, I don't know, man. That OG tastes good. <laughs> that OG. <laughs> it's hard to peel me away from some OG. Really? Yeah, that's that's the best. I feel like that'll always be the best. You can invent always, whatever. No matter what. Do you think it's a nostalgic thing or you just really enjoy it? Like it might that? be. It might be a nostalgia thing, to be honest. But it's just good weed. Because it gets you super high, too. Yeah. Like, a lot of this, like, candy-flavored weed and stuff, it'd be, it'd be cool. Tastes it amazing. Get you, get you high, kind of. But not, yeah. like, fucked up, faded. Mm, you want to be, like, man. stoopy. I want to be stoned. Damn. I feel like stoned and high is different. Like, stoned more like, I want to be, like, Okay, okay, okay. I know. I see where you're coming from. I see where you're coming from. High is just like ready for the day almost. Yeah, I'm just high. Like I could do normal shit. Stoned, I might not be able to go actually, guys. Mm. Guys, I might be a little too mm. stoned. When was might... the last time you had to like say no to something because you were just too high? Damn. Oh, because I was high, I was like, shit, I'd be making things up all the time. Tonight. <laughs> I'd be trying to stay home. <laughs> <laughs> ah, baby, you know, I can't really go out. Guys. That's a good excuse now. <laughs> Dude, it's the best. What was your excuse before that? Like wife stuff? That's a good That's a valid like, one. Yeah, yeah my yeah. wife needs me to help. Yeah, Sorry. classic. They can't hate on you for that. Sorry. They can't say shit when you have the kid, though. Mm, There's literally yeah, nothing they yeah. can say. There's not a fucking thing they can say. Like, what? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to go be a good father. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my bad. Can't go, boys. <laughs> that is an elite cop-out. 
It's it's so elite. It's a ticket out of anything you want. You could. I want to say you even done that when you're not near the bay. Like we're in Michigan, and you're like, ah, the bay. You know. No, I, I did do that. Be on the phone. I literally, <laughs> I, I was like, I'm ah, bro. I went out the first night. Second, I was like, ah. <laughs> you know, I'm like, bro, the baby's not even here. You know, yeah, but you know, He's I'm gonna there. be tired. He's there, but not there. I'm gonna be tired on the way back. You know? Oh, you gotta think about yourself for the future, baby. You know, I don't want to be exhausted when I land there. I can't can't play with the baby. Is that a lot of fun playing with the baby? You think playing with a baby or playing with a dog is more fun? Damn, I mean, <laughs> having a baby is pretty like, it's pretty like I bought her a, a basketball hoop. Ooh, and she, Hooper? I don't know. She's I mean, tall. You're pretty tall. She's you're, tall as hell. Janet's pretty tall. Yeah. Yeah, 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 she's pretty tall. But like, uh, the baby loves it, dude. It's hilarious. Like, she'll she'll just pick up the ball and just like walk towards me. She's like, pick me up, dude. Nice, dunk that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. she just does. she'll do it like ten times in a row. It's fucking hell great. Hell yeah, it's great. Nah, it's the best. So nah, I mean, it's hard to beat that. Yeah, it's no hard doubt. to beat that, dude. Dogs can't dunk. No, nah, and and a dog don't really like. They can't. They can't say like, "Daddy, I love you," and then oh, come give you a hug. Yeah, you know, she already says, "I love not you." Not that, but she'll be like, oh, she'll close. be like, "Da da da da," and then just like run over to me and like collapse into my arms. Damn. I'm like, all right, that was the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Does your wife get salty that she says "Dada" more? Nah, I think at first for sure, but like, <laughs> it's it's just easy to say. She calls everything dada. Like anything oh, is dada. Oh, okay, okay. It's yeah, easy to fair, say. That's fair, you that's know fair. what I mean? Like, I feel like a lot of babies learn that first. It's an easy thing. It's like mom or dad first. I feel like. Yeah, I she says. My mom my first she word says word. mom, dada, mom, like hat. a UK or. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> and she says hat. Oh, like is yours wearing hats? Uh, yeah. yeah. And then, well, she nice. got she got a couple little bucket hats too. Hey, yeah, nice. She likes it, she likes nice. Now nah, having having kids is greatest though. When do you think she'll know weed? <sighs> Two years. Ten. I actually didn't know weed know. until I was like probably drug program, like or drug dare program, like thirteen. I don't know. Like like when I've talked to other parents about it, it's like the kid, it, like the kids know. You mm. know what I mean? Like even when they're young, like they yeah, might not growing know, up around. They different. might not know what it is exactly, right. but like kids are so smart, bro. Like they fucking know. Especially if you like going in another room, you come back, <laughs> you, you act come back like, more chill. You acting different. <laughs> You fucking smell it. Maybe, maybe one time you, you don't, you forget to change or something or put a perfume and you smell. Mm. Whatever it is, you know, mm. like if you're trying to hide it. Yeah. Like the kids you're know. You're going to slip up once. They know. They know, bro. There's slip up at least like I knew at fucking a young age that my uncle smoked weed. You know, like I picked that up real quick at right. a young age. You know, like it's so, I don't know. It might be young. But it's not something I would hide from them. Like when they're like uh, old enough to know what it is. Like it's not a, I don't think weed's a bad thing that you go to right. like. Yeah, especially Hide if you teach it, it to them kid. as not a bad thing. If you teach it to them as a bad thing, then it's like they're more curious and shit, you know? Yeah, yeah I feel like that's with, with a lot of things with kids, right? Like, if you get told, don't do this, it's like, bro, I kind of want to do that. True. Like, that's how True. I was. That's, like, yeah, you told me nah, nah, nah. No, I'm no like, doubt. I'm going to go figure that out and see what the hell is up over there. Like, why aren't you, why can't I do that? This is a Zod Olympics winner, I think. With the blunt? It's, you could you could taste it through the blunt? Through this I, oh, you can taste it through the blunt. Chocolate, sure, fucking bro. cream. For sure, I was at first. I was kind of scared to hit it when I try new raps because it's like, how fucking fat is this nicotine gonna hit me? But it's not hit me that fat. Nicotine's not hit me I, that. I'll fat. be the judge of that. <laughs> I'm uh, a yeah, nicotine yeah, yeah. pussy over here, bro. I'm no, same, same. Uh, yeah, nicotine. You ever feel like you're gonna puke? Shit. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I Even hate... after like one blunt, I'm like, wait, I think I didn't. Put oh, I couldn't smoke there. a blunt by myself. Really? No, if I'd puke if I smoked <laughs> it. Straight up, straight up. I couldn't do it nowadays. I used to chain smoke, switch sweets, but I couldn't do it. Holy shit, chain smoke how many? All of them. <laughs> well, there's only two in a pack, though. I don't know what You like multiple packs? I was buying boxes. <laughs> there were 60 in a box. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, 30 yeah. packs? That makes sense. Damn. Now they would just come, they would come individual. Oh, in a box. that's some real fiend shit. It has like a lid. has a little lid. Boop. Flips open. What? And they're all individually wrapped? Or it's all just individually right? wrapped. Yeah. Fire. You'd go to the smoke shops and buy like just a box? Buy a few boxes. Because <laughs> for, for I'd buy them for the dispensary I was working at. And I'd just, oh. I'd just buy one for myself, too. And then just chain smoke them in the dispensary. Because I, I, was, I was able to smoke while I was butt tending. Oh. So I was just chain. Like, if you came to my store, I was smoking a blunt. <laughs> like, like a thousand percent. Thousand, until we found out what dabs were, and then we were taking dabs. Whoa. Yeah. Damn. So Working in the weed store was so much better back in the day. Shit was lit. That sounds way better. Bro, I was getting high with every single you can, person. You can barely be on your, like, your phone and shit nowadays, I feel like. Nah, you work at Costco, basically. You, just, <laughs> you, work at, you work at Vons. Like, you had just a normal job. Fonds, man. But you're Not working with weed. That's what you're working with weed. That's true. That's true. You're just yeah. not getting drug tested for weed. You know? mm, that's a big deal. That'd be crazy if you did, right? Got drug tested at the dispensary. Do you think that'd be bullshit if they drug tested for other drugs? Or do you think that's fair? <sighs> I mean, it's at the end of the day, it's a if it's a private company, they can do whatever the fuck they want, right? Yeah, like, you're right. My opinion, I Would guess. Would you test your matter. employees for meth or crack? 
Yeah, I don't want a higher uh, <laughs> meth or crackhead. Yeah, off top. The fuck? We are definitely testing at Fine Park if you smoke meth or crack. Jason, Jason. Come on, man. I think there's a lot of, there's a lot of functional meth and crackheads out there. There is for sure, which is crazy. Hey, you take which is crazy. every day, damn near. You're close. Yeah. You're That's close. definitely, I'm a full-blown caffeine addict for Ooh, sure. Ooh, you think so? It's gotten so much like worse. You get like, what? Since when? So, uh, since I got sick, because I'm just always tired. Oh, so I'm like, I fuck, that. like, I fuck that. that. I'm not gonna just gonna. What am I just gonna be tired? That's yeah. lame. Or am I gonna juice, pop a fucking cup of hundred milligrams of caffeine? Get a little. What weird. is the amount that you take? Because I recently read that Bangs have three hundred, and I was mind blown. Whoa! Bangs have three hundred milligrams of caffeine. Isn't that crazy? Uh, no, I mean that. I mean, who's drinking Bang Energies so though? That's people, crazy. I think they went through a phase, and then people were like, "Wait, we're having like heart attacks." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the drink, the TI drink has 150 milligrams. Oh, that's that's still a lot, right? You're like, crazy. yeah. Oh, I'm like tweaking, bro. <laughs> I'm tweaking on 150 milligrams, bro. Like straight up geeked. Yeah, I recently so came across know. these little like THC mints. They're like little mints that you take. They're like Altoids almost. Okay. And there's like day and sleep time ones. The sleep time ones have melatonin. Is that the one you said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the daytime ones have caffeine. So it's weed and caffeine? Yeah, it's 15 milligrams of caffeine and like yeah, five mean, of THC. Look, guys, it's not even that <laughs> you could you could just drink a cup of coffee and smoke nice, a joint. It's not nice. even that serious, bro. But what? Maybe uh they want to take a little, you know, maybe they want to take a little. I don't know, man. Uh, we just live, it's too convenient, like to get high. Yeah. It's so convenient yeah. to get high, bro. Yeah, like you could just get high off off anything. Eight, bruh. We got DMT off pens. Anything, off that little, where is this? Oh, I was looking forward to this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this, you are. Man. You the might sugar. be addicted to that. I might be addicted to this. <laughs> I might be. This is pure deliciousness right here. It's just hash and sugar. Freeze dried hash and sugar. That's all that is. Really? That's what I assume that is. And yeah, flavoring. No doubt, right? Freeze dried hash and sugar. What's up with the freeze? What's it take to freeze dry something? Is that like a machine? Is it expensive? Yeah, they're like four racks. Like a freeze dryer? Yeah. Whoa. It's not even that big either. It's got like it's like an air fryer, like trays, like freeze. a couple trays you put in there. Is it, it takes like all the moisture top? out? Is it like a? Can you put it on a counter? Or is it like a stand, like a fridge size? No, nah, you could put it. We could put it on this. Oh, mm-hmm. interesting. Yeah, you we have could one? have a few of them on here. Boop, 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 boop. Dave, you have one? No. Ooh. What the fuck? Hell no. That'd be crazy. <laughs> Just have one in the crib. That's like the next biggest flex. Honestly, I want to have a urinal in my crib. That'd be nice. <sighs> That's fire. Yeah, a urinal. Never would even be thought about that. Sick. Low key, never even thought about that. What a crazy thing to just be I like, never yeah. thought about it until I've been going on all these house tours and one had them. Oh, you I, were hype. I you were like, like dozens of houses and I was like, wait, is you're that like, a whoa, 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 <laughs> Even the real estate agent was like, are you ready for this? And I, was like, <laughs> and I was like, wait, what am I about to go into? I was like, what kind of room is this? And he's like, it's Fuck, I can't, room. I can't wait till we fucking get this damn place. Yeah, though. I know, right? It's been uh, a lot of the talking. I'm sorry, guys. All right. It's a lot of the, apparently goes into getting a house here in LA. It's you get people asking, is this still happening? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're like, we're going to do it. Don't, don't even put that energy out there. Don't even, don't even put that out there. Don't worry. It's going to happen, man. It's going to be great. Can't wait to go back out to Michigan, too. Can't wait to go back to Florida. Pine Park is everywhere, man. Oh, we're cooking. We got some shit happening, bro. We do have some shit happening. Saturday's a big day. I hope you come out. Hope everyone comes come out. On. PuffCon, little PuffCon event. I will be hosting a Woo! little group dab sesh at seven ten p.m. PuffCon. If you want to come through, Dude main said stage. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a, a world record. I will say that Guinness declined to come out and make it official. So Did they actually? So fucking fuck sluts. Yeah, fuck them. Fuck Guinness, man. There you go. But it'll be an unofficial world record, if you will. Thousands of people lighting yep. up a dab at once. That's perfect. Because be generally, it's pretty hard to do that. Like, you need a torch. You need to time You couldn't it do it with a torch. Yeah, it'd be it'd too be impossible. It'd be physically impossible it'd to do it with a torch. It'd be too impossible. Everyone with the puff coat, click it at the same time. <laughs> all, it's, all it takes is everybody just to do it. Even if they're not exactly on it, they can all hit it at the same time. So oh, it'll be yeah. warm enough. Oh, you know? yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's incredible, though. I'm super stoked. When I saw that post, I was like, that's my fucking guy right there. Let's I can't go, wait. It's going to be a lot of fun, man. It's going to be a lot of fun. They called me out of the blue. They're like, you mm. want to host something? It was like two days ago. I was like, sure. No shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lit. I was like, sure, let's do it. I'm fucking down. Gassed up. So see you at Puff Con. If you do see me, make sure to say what's up. Uh, ask for a pick. I can sign in your Puff Co. I can do whatever, man. I'm always down to say what the fuck is good. Uh, what I will not do is hit your Puff Co. I'm sorry. You know, I'll have my own. We can sesh together. There you we know, go. we can hit our Puff Co's together at the it's same time. It's a safer time. way to do that. We can cheers even, you know. Beautiful. Beautiful times, man. I feel like that's how you get sick. Yeah. It's or just... smoke some bullshit and you, like, you feel weird. Or... Like, who knows? Someone's just fucking a little deceptive out there, and it's like, here's some DMT, Eric. Oh, and I blast off in front of and everyone. You're just gone. That'd be crazy. Like, that's fuck. like, is that, <laughs> is that like attempted murder? 
I don't know. That's like assault. It's got to be or something. <laughs> I mean, assault at least, right? Like, dude, you're trying. Yeah. You almost you're trying to kill somebody. Yeah, like what the fuck, man? They weren't you know, ready. They, freak out in front they of thought everyone? they were taking a dab. I'm just like getting possessed <laughs> by it. Everyone's like recording. There's like a big circle, and I'm just like getting. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> we get you out of there. We get you out of there. <laughs> Stop fucking filming. Tweaking on DMT. <laughs> Damn DMT, dude. My home. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to um. Oh, does this happen to somebody? No, 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 no. Oh no. shit! I just bro. thought. <laughs> Had me fucking tripping right now. Quick break in the action to shout out our friends over at El Cristiano Tequila, man. Listen, listen, listen. All right. I ain't the biggest enthusiast of the tequila myself, but every single person that I share this with, they make it a point. They make it a point because they're like, where'd you get this? Or this is some of the smoothest I've ever had. And I was like, all right, so we got the, we got the other people vouchers. We got the personal vouchers for this beautiful stuff right here. 100% blue agave, no additives. That's just pure smooth flavor right there, mm. man. Look at all the types. You know, whether you're into the, the Blanco, the Anejo, El Cristiano, hits perfect. Okay, you can pair it with your favorite Pine Park strains. And the best part, it's crafted in small batches, just like our favorite cannabis. This is from the highlands of Jalisco. So make sure you grab yourself some. And uh, Eric, where can they find this? Make sure to go to their Instagram, at El Cristiano Tequila, and tell them that we sent you. It might just give you a little gift. Bro, I went to Texas. Okay. But I made a Groovy Mac collab. Okay. Shout out Groovy Mac, because yeah, he's yeah, the yeah. first one that's ever showed me a DMT pen in the flesh. Oh, you seen I always it. see him. I always hear him about him, you know, like, DMT pen, DMT pen. You didn't hit and it? And he's like, no, 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 no. I was scared. He, he, he was trying to convince me. He's like, it's not that bad. Ah, like, he was, was like, 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 what does that mean? Couch right here, bro. Nah, literally, literally. <laughs> he's like, dude, you're not going to, like, tweak out. Like, we'll be right here. And I was like, what? <laughs> dude, what do you mean you'll be right here? <laughs> Where am I going to go? <laughs> You, you haven't did, done it. Did look chill. Shit, it was like a little. Have you ever done DMT? Everything. I have not ever done DMT. No, no, no never. Have it's you? an experience. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When? Well, how old are you? Because I always. This is a while ago. Shit, it's probably been a decade. Oh. Yeah, it's honestly probably been a decade. You only needed to do it once. Um, I think I tried to do it twice. I don't think I. I, I, I you never, didn't succeed the second time. I didn't succeed really either time. I oh, don't think. interesting. Like to to the point where you hit that little breakthrough or whatever they yeah, say. Yeah, like I I definitely got high, like oh, for sure. But oh. like I didn't uh, have like, like some what, crazy. What did it feel like? I don't even know. I just remember like hitting it and then kind of like laying back into my bed. You alone? Nah, I had uh, a, a girl with me at the time. Nice, nice. Yeah, nice. I was like, somebody better watch not? me. Nah, nah, nah. Oh. I was like, let me do these drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Watch me make sure. Watch, I don't watch me do out. these drugs and make sure I don't die. I wonder what she would have done if you started tweaking. Like, was she prepared? Hopefully, nine one one. I don't know. I mean, I mean like how prepared was she if like something really would have gone down? Prepared. Nice, nice. Yeah, That's I, true. I, I felt confident. <laughs> felt confident doing it. You know, I'm oh here. My Lord, I'm alive. Oh my lord. Damn, yeah. DMT. So, would you do it again or not? Um, I don't know. Maybe. What about like ayahuasca? Nah. And I don't like think... the Amazonian jungle? Nah. You know, I was you hear like, oh, like I found myself. But then I've also been seeing these stories of like a lot of people. They just leave everything or like I saw one about like a mom that just like left her kids and just dipped. <laughs> Went to some other fucking country, started fucking some dude. Got banged. Yeah. A yeah, couple yeah. months later was like, holy shit, what am I doing with my life? Had like a mental breakdown, had to go to got checked into some rehab, is clean and sober now, but doesn't have no job. Husband and kids are gone. Like, bro, ayahuasca done fucked her shit Dude, up. That's what I'm saying. Sent her for a loop, bro. <laughs> like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. So I don't know, bro. I don't know. Nah, no doubt. I think I saw I saw a funny-ass tweet where it's like, we know ayahuasca is the one drug that's, like, serious as fuck. Like, has the potential to just, like, absolutely fry your brain. Like, the one thing we know for sure is that it'll, like, fuck you up. And it's primarily taken by, like, the most normal people that don't ever do drugs, like that don't do acid or psychedelics, that just like want to do this for some reason, and they just like get fried. Uh, like Chad, get, get Chad the CEO, was like, <laughs> get one shotted by it. And it's I'm like, gonna yeah. really become conscious and, <laughs> and go on this fucking ayahuasca journey. It's and not and ready for it. They're not ready for it. Bro, it's just a mental collapse. That's the collapse. main thing. I want to feel like I'm ready for it. You know? Did you feel like you were ready for it those times? I don't know. I just wanted to get high. Shit. I don't know. How, oh, you said it was a decade ago? More than a decade ago? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, probably around a decade ago, something like that. I've dabbled more in like acid and, and mushrooms. Mm. I feel like those are the vibe. Acid and mushrooms are good. Or mushrooms are good. I don't know. My acid's getting crazy nowadays. Acid it's all are, fake and like, you never know. You never you, know. D- mushrooms, I feel like, is the one thing you can still kind of trust. Mm-hmm. But, Not the like, I'm literally thing. making a video on this topic, topic Ooh, right nice. now where it's like, you can't, like, do you trust the mushroom chocolates? 
or do you like versus like regular mushrooms like the difference yeah. really because it's like i'm going regular ones for bro sure. they just did a study or uh, like a secret shopper where they bought 24 mushroom bars oh. eight of them had dmt instead of psilocybin what the fuck damn what the fuck and like, i bet you the other shit has like not real psilocybin it's like or s- research chemical or yeah. something like that that's simulating the, the effects wow. or the feeling you know wow, so it's just fuck. like when you're eating these chocolate bars and stuff it's just you're taking you're gambling like unless you saw them make it yeah you don't fucking yeah, know yeah, dude no you don't fucking know you have or no even idea if like yeah even if you know the company because people have gone up to me like this is my company and that I'm doesn't like, mm, i'm like this is looking scary mean shit, yeah. bro. That don't mean <laughs> this shit. is scaring me right now and yeah. that's no it's not i'm not saying every mushroom chocolate out yeah, there no is doubt, bad no and there's there's people with great intentions that have like great psilocybin and have and great mushroom and companies and they yeah. sell candies and chocolates but that doesn't mean that it's all safe. Like it's there's some fucked up mushroom chocolates out there, dude. Like there's a lot. I I want to. Do you think it's the majority of them? Because I guess eight out of twenty four had DMT, but I bet you the other ones had like you know. Yeah, that's just that's just having DMT. Right, it's right. Like, a third so of them are already like a third of them are fucked <laughs> yeah. off the bat. Like if I took DMT and I thought I was taking mushrooms, bro, I would be not okay. Yeah, that'd be crazy. I would not be okay. Like I wonder if some people like that because they're like, dude, these got me so fucked up. Like I'm gonna buy them again. You know? Yeah, like, yeah. I wonder I think, if that's what they're going for. Like I'm, I'm not. A, Jason can correct me if I say it wrong, but he said something. I think it was Jason, but that there somebody was putting like, uh, no, it was it was it was fish. Oh. Fish said somebody was putting Xanax and edibles <laughs> back in the day, bro. And what people the are like, hell? people are like, these fucking edibles are so strong. <laughs> They're fucking they're me up because they're fucking bars, Damn. bro. You're eating a half a Xanax and 50 milligrams talking about you're faded. <laughs> and 50 milligrams. Like, both. what the <laughs> fuck, bro? That's the craziest shit. I was expecting shit. just Xans, but the Xan and weed combo is filthy. Like, that's crazy, right? So, I don't know, man. It's 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 hard to just trust drugs, which is crazy, which is why I think they should be legal because then mm. they can be regulated. Then we can know they're good. Okay. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Yeah, maybe that is crazy. No, I would agree. They at least have to... Shit. Because people are going to take them anyways. Yeah, facts. Like, we've talked about this a few times. People are going to take the drugs anyways. So if you regulate them, at least we know they're, like, safe-er. Not maybe safe, but safer. I don't know. uh, Facts. I agree. Speaking of drugs, you think this guy's on drugs, man? This motherfucking greatest baseball player of all time that we're just witnessing in the flesh? (laughs) Shohei on PEDs, or is he just a fucking god? Damn low-key. I am lost. I don't know. Shohei Otani, man. I don't even know who that is. You don't know who Shohei Otani is? I'm dead ass right now. I'm so sorry. Player okay. That the world's ever seen down okay. here, man. Okay, what did he do? He's in the middle of a historic season right now. Bet. Putting up some crazy numbers. Bet. First 50-50 season in NBA history. What does that 50 mean? 50 home runs, 50 base steals. Oh, it's shit. Done, 40-40 has been done a few times. Like, I think four people have is done it, Is the season perhaps. over? The season's not over. There's still like four games left. So, Which, he, so could, he has a potential because he's at like 53, 54 or something right now. So he could now. do 60, 60? He could be. Oh. So if he 60, 60. If anything, just, he could be 55, 60 or something. He could do something hey, crazy. Hey, other he teams. He could do something crazy. Other teams. Just just let him do it. You nah, know? you don't want to be the team that lets him nah, do it. You know? They're probably trying their hardest, honestly. This let last team's it. probably trying history. their hardest. Stop being a bitch. Like, we can't be the team that he says. Nah, you, you'll be a part of history. <laughs> you'll always be remembered. That's the wrong side of history, man. Hey, yeah, at least yeah part he of came it. from, he's a little Japanese guy. He was playing on the Angels for a little bit. Okay. He's a little Japanese guy. Jason Lyle. I don't know about little. He's like six foot. He's a big boy. He's definitely a big boy. He's got some fucking. Jason laughed really runs. hard when you said little Japanese. <laughs> so I just wanted I just want to verify how big this guy is. Well, I don't know. Japan's like <laughs> taking over baseball right now. Like really? Yeah, there's a few players. Okay. Like the lead, the country in general is just like really tapped into baseball Bet. over these past few years. So but this crazy. guy's the this guy's the goat. Oh, I've seen this guy on Twitter before. Yeah, you've seen his face. I've seen his face 100 percent seen his motherfucking face. I just didn't know his name. So oh, six four. You're a little fucking goddamn six four two ten. You're tiny. It's a big boy, but you're, yeah, but look tiny. at but look at Aaron Judge. He's six seven two sixty, and that's who they compare him to. Six four two ten. You're talking about he's breaking all of Aaron Japanese Judge's boy. records. All right, he's breaking all of. So this guy's the goat though of baseball. I think so. Who's he I playing mean, for? The Angels or the Dodgers? He did play for the Angels, but now oh, he plays now he for plays the for the Dodgers though. Damn, oh, they're yeah. smart. They bought and him, like, like a crazy historic here. like record breaking contract. And they said it was fucked up because of the way. Oh, they structured I think we talked about his money before. Yeah, we talked about his money before. He backloaded all of it just so they could afford him. So, so they, like well, yeah, and so they could still have a roster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, bro, yeah. the yeah. fuck would have broke the salary cap? He what signed a, a ten-year, seven hundred million dollar contract. What a goat, dude! With the Dodgers, the largest contract in professional sports history. But I mean, look at him—he's having a fucking the greatest season of all time. You said, right? So, like, yeah, I, I guess mean, it was goddamn. Was worth it worth it? it? Like, yeah, fuck. ticket prices have been going crazy since. Like, he's breaking all Damn, kinds he's of records. Paid more than Messi. 
More than Messi, more than nah, Ronaldo. Nah, that's crazy. More than Patrick what? Mahomes. Nah, but look how much Messi get paid per game now. That's see, he got play more games. Homeboy, the, the baseball player. <laughs> yeah, a, yeah, look, baseball look, look plays a difference. shitload of games. That's a big Damn. difference, bro. What the fuck? Oh no, look at number three. Who's that? Ronaldo. That's Ronaldo, baby. Oh my god. That's that. UAE oh my god. Money. Yes, yeah, that Saudi money. Oh right my there. God, seven million a game? What the? F- Whoa, thirty-three million. Oh, that's Canelo. That's why. Oh, uh, yeah, that's. Fair. Oh, I was that's like, fair. yo, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> Holy it's like total winnings, I guess. <laughs> no, Damn. that's per fight. That's how much he get paid per fight. Thirty-three million. Oh yeah, that's the average. That's oh. A, that's. Oh yeah, that's boxing's just, lit. What the fuck? It's contract value. Damn. <laughs> D A Z N organization. The Dodgers have the number one and number seven. What the? Who's fuck? that guy? Mookie Betts. He's like 385 a, million? Is that what they said? Or 65? 365. Fuck me, bro. That's crazy. Baseball's bro. getting fucking paid. They play a shitload of games. Wait, that's though. the guy you said, Judge. He number nine. Yeah, he's number nine. That's like big bag. I think he holds the record for the most home runs. Is it before. mostly baseball players on this list? Yeah, damn near. Bro, There's a shitload of money in baseball, fuck? bro. There's one football player in NFL. There's what the few fuck? soccer players. Who's the football baseball. guy? Patrick? Patrick Mahomes. Yep. That was that's an easy one. Kansas City Chiefs. Crazy. Half a bill. He got like yeah, he got like five hundred million. Right? Oh, there's Max Verstappen. Who's Max. that? Oh, that's the racer. The racer. That's the F one. Hey, that's pretty good. Damn, these are some crazy contracts. I'm, dude, I'm tripping on these right yeah. now. Honestly, <laughs> like we could scroll these for a minute. This is crazy. Jason Tatum's nineteen. Come on, Boston. What are you guys thinking? That's crazy, bro. I guess they did win a ring though. Crazy. I'm just so shocked by how much money baseball. Has. Yeah, yeah. It's kind I of did insane. Not fu- I don't watch sports. At it's America's all. pastime, man. Is baseball still is that the like most popular sport in America or is it football? It's um, like damn. if you took like the total viewers for all the games, it's probably baseball. Maybe not even viewer like revenue. Oh, maybe monetarily, you know. Yeah, like how are more games? There's way more games. Out? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So even if they're making less okay. money, they're that like selling more hot dogs, more tickets, they're more selling merch, more, more yeah. food, more yeah, 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 alcohol, way more. everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way makes more sense. Okay, got yeah, it. Yeah, because there's like. 400 games More in a season of baseball. Yeah. Sometimes they the play TV. two in a day, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been to a that's the worst. <laughs> Go to a daytime game. Yo, bro, daytime baseball games suck my whole dick. Damn, you think so? Bro. I don't think I've ever been to one either. I've only bro, been to like, the games. Really? Not don't. a move? No. I'm and going to I'm, Dodgers. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm going super, to a Dodgers game today. And I'm super white. I'll get all burnt and shit. Yeah. And that might be going to a Dodgers game today. Like tonight? Yeah, tonight. That's lit. It's a bobblehead night. Oh, if it's an Otani one, I'll be fucking. Oh! I'll be on eBay real fucking soon after that. Oh! So maybe I'll hold on to it. Oh. I think I'll steal a small child's and then sell theirs and then hold mine for like 10 years. Yeah, just fucking push them out the way real quick. Yeah. Give me your shit, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's at first 40,000, get a free bobblehead. How many people fit? That's what I'm saying, right? Like, there's got to be only 40,000 seats, How actually. Fucking seats are at <laughs> Dodger Stadium. Every seat bro. gets a bobblehead. Ooh. And that's cool, bobbleheads. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. I'll fuck with that. Shout out to the Dodgers, man. What a goat, Put Putting though, on for the Asians. Yeah, the Asians about to take over baseball, I guess. Shout Fucking out to the Japanese. Man. It's a hard sport, man. It is a hard sport. It's a crazy hard sport. And just You ever tried like a batting cage? I haven't been to one since I was like in, in high school. Bro, I played sports all the time. Baseball, I could not do it, bro. Tough. Bro, I just couldn't do it. Is it harder than hitting a golf ball, you think? Nah. Uh, nah. Uh, hitting a baseball pretty hard, bro. Yeah. So, so yeah, it depends on how fast it's going for sure. Because you only sure, got too. like that motherfucker coming. <laughs> you only got like a, like half a second type shit, bro. Like you gotta go, and you gotta know if it's a good pitch or not. Like, uh, oh yeah, yeah, fuck, yeah, yeah, bro. yeah. You're right. right. Baseball is kind of crazy, man. But shit, there's gonna be a baseball team in Vegas soon, and that means really? that they're building some new stuff. Yeah, the Oakland oh, yeah, A's yeah, yeah, are moving yeah, yeah, to Vegas. Yeah. They're building a stadium right on the strip. Should be crazy. In order to uh, compensate for that, they're doing some new stuff out in Vegas. I've okay. heard this for like the past however many years, though. Oh, this is some bullshit. This little thing right here. But we'll see, man. We'll bullshit. see. New high-speed electric train okay. connecting L.A. to Vegas. Yeah, that's going to be done in like 2045. <laughs> Straight but up. hey, I'll be old and ready for fucking gambling. Ride I'll tell bitch. you what, I'll be ready. Ride Bright Line, Line West's new all-electric bullet train is coming to L.A. Bold interiors, luxurious vibe, 218-mile rail system. Whoa, 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 whoa. Expected to be completed by 2028. No, that's right. four years, brother. Hey, we're almost in 2025. That's like three years. Yeah, but that's expected. That's the reason they put ex- they put but the word expected. Maybe in they'll there. even complete it sooner. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's done next week. <laughs> At almost 200 miles per hour, the travel time between the two cities will take two hours and 10 minutes. That's twice as fast as the average drive time per the Nevada Department of DOT. That's kind of lit. A flight's what, an hour, 45 minutes? Yeah, that's but then you got to like get to the airport an hour before... You gotta nah, get off. GSX. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Soup lit. Yeah, that is true. That is true. J6 is getting more expensive, though. It's bullshit. Fuck. It's, it's not even, bullshit. it's honestly, it's not even worth it anymore. It's barely <laughs> worth it, even if you get a good deal. Like, it's, if you're taking, like, some bud, maybe. Nah, it's illegal. Don't do it. But, like, no, it's hypothetically. Not. It's not illegal. TSA, suck my dick. Read the law. But th- they don't follow TSA. They follow the guidelines. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah I think they follow, sure. like, it's like aviation law, though. I don't think you can bring it. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we, 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 we I think weed's debate. legal on the ground, but I not think, in the air. I think what the what it is is they like uh, turn you over to local authority. So like mm. weed's legal here. So what are you mm. gonna do? The air the air police are gonna get you. Now nah, the air police are gonna give you to the LAPD. Ooh, and then they'll chill. And then they'll be like, "What are we gonna charge this guy for?" <laughs> then yeah, I guess maybe in Vegas they'll be cool with it too. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I don't we'll know. See. I'm bringing we'll my eighth. More news. <laughs> cannabis overtakes alcohol as the mostly widely used. <laughs> cannabis overtakes alcohol as the most widely used substance in 2024. That's pretty impressive. That's pretty fucking awesome. This is worldwide, or it just says Americans. Researchers have Burr. recently observed a significant change in Americans' habits. For the first time ever, cannabis has surpassed alcohol as the most widely used substance in the United States. That's the finding comes from a new study published in May 2024 in the peer-reviewed journal Addiction. Well, it's a crazy journal name which analyzed self-reported survey data from 1.6 million participants across nice. 27 surveys conducted between nice. 1979 and 2022. Nice. I like Holy that. shit. Why yeah. data fucking range? Millions like of that. people, 30 years of data. All that's right. li- like that's that. a real study for yeah, sure. That's, that's a, a legit study. That's a study and that. a half. This trend reflects a broader public po- um, policy shift that has increased cannabis accessibility in 38 states. Hell yeah. And counting. You're damn Hell right. Yeah. If you're in Florida... Make sure to vote. Damn, yes that's so three, crazy man. that your brain s- said the same thing in your head as mine did right there. Yeah, I li- yes, yeah, the second I was, in- yeah, vote, that's so yes, crazy. Three, My baby. brain thought exactly the same thing. How do we do it? Uh, we're just linked. Yeah. Shout out. Uh, yeah, but if you're in Florida, come on now. November <laughs> first week you of November, first Tuesday of November. I'm sorry, Dave Portnoy or whatever. It was like uh, yes. Oh, he was smoking that? on that yeah, shit. Yeah, got yeah, millions yeah. of views. See a bunch of boomers in the comments. Yeah, they like, were. No, we don't want the weed. Yeah, fuck the weed. It's actually crazy to see like. I almost think that that's not even like a real POV, and then you read, and it's like thousands of people agree. No, it's real. That's yeah, totally it's real. It's, it's totally it's real. There's there's still a generation of individuals who think weed is like the devil. Yeah. Because that's what they were told when they were like young. That's how they, they were still educated. It. Yeah, and you're not gonna you're not gonna change their mind at this point. Like, <laughs> they're they, so funny. They, All they, those tweets like, like, I walk outside and smell it already. <laughs> and they actually that's, they actually hate it. Like it it, <laughs> it actually makes them physically upset. Nah, like, no doubt. Like no it doubt. bothers them. <laughs> like, or, or it's like the really common point that they'll always get or that always get rebuttaled with is like it's not as bad as alcohol. But then they've they've developed this new one where it's like, yeah, but you don't have to smell my alcohol. And it's like, fuck you. But I have to like uh, experience you on the liquor. I got to experience you, know you being yeah, a yeah. fucking shit human <laughs> drunk fuck that like yelling at everyone. Like, fuck, dude. But chill. that's what they're saying lately. I've been keeping up with the convos, you know. Yeah, I get a hey, valid, valid rebuttal. Is valid. valid, yeah, yeah. Weed you smell can, is weed annoying smell. for people that don't like. If you don't enjoy the smell of weed, it's it is. it's horrible. Yeah, it's really like stinky peop- too. It's honestly like fucking it's, it's really, loud. I don't know if it's more. He gets stronger stench than cigarettes. Not it, stench, but it could like be. I know what you're, smell smell wise. Just in yeah, general. yeah. If yeah. there's like a cigarette five feet away from you and there's a weed, like which a one are you gonna? Smell? I might smell the weed about? more. Yeah, but that's maybe because of our brains. The weed might mask it. Or I'm like, oh shit. Right, I'm really interested. Man, that's gonna be some studies too, man. We got to do a study with that. That's a good a question. People. That's a good question right there. Do you think like weed smells more or cigarette smells more? I mean, it's the one you're around less. I think that's what it would be. But probably, yeah, because you probably notice it more. Like if you're not around cigarette smokes and you smell, it. but like an individual that doesn't smoke weed, like I always tell this to somebody, like if you thought you were hiding your weed smoke as a kid, mm. your parents yeah, were no just way. not saying anything. They were just cool with it. They just weren't yeah. saying shit because. <laughs> You can't for a motherfucker that doesn't smoke weed. Weed smells so loud that you can't hide it. Like you, you're not hiding it. It's no, so detectable. Saying. That was a <laughs> massive bong rip, dude. That was yeah. I wasn't expecting that one. Like, I didn't feel like it was gonna be massive. Bro, look at um, the smoke is literally still lingering, linger, and the, there's like linger. a fucking cloud right here. Whoa, Jesus. this shit looks nuts. At least it's not in my lungs. Do you think that'll touch my lungs, or do you think it like stayed? Like, I don't know. I don't know how it works. You know, it'd be cool to do an see. X-ray. It'd be cool to see like a bong rip. Mm, fucking, yeah, like a you know yeah, what I'm talking about. Yeah, like those fart cams, but it inside. Yeah, but like it, yeah, it inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like yeah. An MRI bong rip. Damn. Have you done that? Is that possible to do? Is it possible? Can we, Josefa? We want to do that. There we go. Bong rip. MRIs MRI. are dangerous, though. Right? You gotta like stand still. What happens if you don't? Now, what MRIs you are like, MRIs really? are dangerous. Now, if you stand still, the image gets fucked up. I get MRIs a lot. Mm. Uh, MRIs are dangerous Fair if you have metal. 
Oh. Because it's a big magnet. So like, it just like suck you you've never the top seen like MRI fucking... like gone wrong? Where no. they're like, well, it's not gone wrong, but it's like MRI and they like show you. They'll bring a chair in and the chair just gets sucked into it. Bro. Oh, Fast shit. as fuck. It's like a giant magnet. Do you think it would, that piece of metal would come yeah. out of your skin? Or do you think you'd just get it might, sucked to the It fucking... might fuck your shit up, yeah. Damn. Maybe. That is insane. I hate the sound of the MRIs though. It's so fucking terrible. You ever got yeah, one? I feel like that. I think when I was a kid, when I was a kid so, once. So loud. The, the MRI medical, medical stuff in general is just kind of scary. Gun stuck. <laughs> Whoa, it's really strong. You no, can't just turn it off. No, it's just a magnet. Like at all times. It's a magnet. Yeah. Whoa. It like really metal like just doesn't go in that room. That's crazy. Yeah. MRI and metal. I'll be in there it. naked. <laughs> Balls out. Wait, really? You, you go to the machine naked? Is that what you're supposed to do? On oh, like a gown. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, not but butt cheeks out. Though. Yeah, I thought your dick was yeah. out. I was like, wait, there's yeah, no I way. I was like, what kind of doctor are you going to, bro? That's crazy. <laughs> 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 they got a camera rolling. It's a live stream. <laughs> I'm going to need you to take the gown off for this MRI. <laughs> <laughs> like, <wait a> <laughs> <minute>. <laughs> Holy shit. Nah, the way mom. you go into it's like legs blast. So it's <laughs> 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 it's just bad <laughs> They can totally just do something weird. Because <laughs> like you're trapped in that thing too. Like they got the head thing on me and shit. So like, Oh, whoa. They like strap you in? Well, like because they're scanning my brain. So oh, like, yeah. shit. It sucks when they do the full body one. That shit takes so long. It's like an hour and a half. Yeah, I was going to say, you got to stay in there for a fat minute, right? It's like... Uh, That's crazy. Usually like 30 minutes each thing they do. Because they do it with contrast and without it. So they okay. just like give you two images. Wow. The whole I body mean, thing guess, is trash. So damn, long. Damn, that's crazy. Because I think like... I mean, that's like really crazily advanced ever, medical technology. Can we, can we play but the, the sound? Like Does this minutes. have a speaker? Bro, the sound of MRI is so cursed. What? Bruh, I wonder when MRIs are gonna get to like thirty so, minutes in time sounds, or fifteen it sounds minutes so in bad. time. You know when are MRIs like the is gonna sounds improve. of an MRI is so bad, bro. I fucking and this MRI shit's like sound effects. It's like max volume in your fucking head, bro. While this is happening, it's the worst. Some places give you like music to play. Oh, for an hour and a half. What? And it's different patterns. Yeah, that one I hate a lot. <laughs> that you one I hate headphones? a lot. Uh, no headphones, but they give you like earplugs, and then sometimes they'll pl they'll play like music at certain places. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I've been, but not oh, Jesus. And it just like, makes bro, you sound like something's going wrong. Bro, like, why like can't right they have here, a nice chime? Right here, just dude. Like, oh my fucking god! I'm I wonder dumb. why they wouldn't have like a nice chime. You have could easily it, change that to like you ding, haven't. Ding, 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 I don't know. You know, I don't, like I, I don't know if it's required to be that sound or what. Like, I don't. I don't get. Oh, oh to react. it's like sending signals to your brain. Wow. That's fucking insane. What if it plays some like Beethoven and you just, you know, what if it plays some like different music? That's good. Yeah, play something that. better. Because <laughs> that shit's cursed. <laughs> it's so bad, bro. Bro, that sounds insane, man. Oh, yeah. But speaking of that Dodgers thing, we missed this little part. Uh, he hit his 50th home run ball, which is like a big deal. That's lit. Fan caught it. Big deal. Holy, I can't even imagine what that ball is going for. The Dodgers offered him. They're like, hey, 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 wait, before you leave the stadium, okay, we'll give you 300 bands and a signed bat. And he was like, go fuck yourselves. And smart. he left. Yeah, yeah, and he left. Smart. And he left. <laughs> smart. I wonder what he's going to get for that bad boy. 300 bands is a lot. for life. Ooh. should have hit him with that. That'd be a decent little something. They should have hit him with that. That's a decent little offer. For life. For life. For life. You can pass them down to your kids, too. Do Woo! you think... Do you think the Dodgers would have just displayed it? Or what do you think they would have done? Do you think they would have sold it? No, they would have displayed it for sure. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, piece of history. Yeah, 100%. They would yeah, have put yeah, it no somewhere doubt. in the stadium so Ooh. people could come look at it. Oh. When it was like an attraction. Dang. 100%. He said, fuck your stadium. Nah, he going to go get a milli. At least, right? He going to get a milli. Maybe they'll buy it back from him. Like, I mean, we'll give you a million this time. Or, like, or everyone just sells him the fuck off and he gets nothing. Oh, see, that's what I'm, yeah, but it's eventually going to be worth something, I think, you know? It's already worth collect, something for collectors sure. Collectors are so big on shit, bro. Like, they, right, right. They going to want that. Yeah, they're going to want, want that, that shit for Especially sure. Especially if he does, like, 66, or if he does something crazy, like, what if they yeah. win the championship? Right, oh, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, it's, it could season. get even more crazy still. Like, the Dang. season's not over. The season's not over yet. Dang. Are they? Gonna, they're gonna make it. To, they're having a good team season. It's not yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna make. They're gonna make the crushing. playoffs and yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. So they got a good shot. At, you know, are winning like it a, all. Are they like a favorite to win the championship? Not I really. think they honestly might be just because of him. Like he's that much of a fucking. Like, he makes that big. Yeah, he's that big of a changer. Where it's like he can change a what, fucking uh, game. What position up. does he play? 
takes both sides of the ball. But I think that's like the biggest thing about him. He's like an insane pitcher and an insane batter. But I think oh, he got rare. surgery recently, so he's only doing one right now. He's only hitting. But oh, he normally he pitches, and he's an insane pitcher. Elbow. Yeah, yeah. He's that normally shit, an insane that shit pitcher, too. Happens. You ever right. seen videos on what happens to an elbow when they throw in pitches? The no. elbow, like, basically, like, exploding every time. It's just crazy. Damn. That's, that's why they, they do the, what, TJ? TJ Tommy surgery? John surgery, yeah. Tommy your, John. Your shit just exploding, bro, when they throw the ball that hard. It's crazy. And they get him a lot. You can get Tommy John, like, a few times, That's just right? a regular thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, they, most like, pitchers have, like, a Tommy John surgery. They blow their arms apart, bro. It's wow, crazy. Your arm is not crazy. supposed to do that shit, bro. Like, it's... I wonder, it's like, how many pitchers have Tommy John surgery? It's... I, like a good like, fifty, percent. especially if you're pitching since like middle school, high school. That's what I'm school, saying because yeah. you're doing it since you were a kid. To be that good, D- yeah, you're doing that yeah. since you was a kid. Like it's oh no, don't don't, don't. Yeah. hey hey <laughs> hey hey hey. We do not need to see an elbow explode, bro. Oh my god, yeah. arm oh, blowouts, blowouts. terrible oh, injuries. Fuck. That's literally the, that's the video that Josefa wants to watch. Oh my god, oh Breaks my arm fucking while throwing. god, that's horrible. No, that's what's gonna happen. His arm is just gonna explode. Oh fuck that. Because that's you're I just want to so, know how many. It's so much force. Yeah. It's so much force on your fucking arm, dude. Oh, look, there's an elbow guard. There's a Injury what? prevention. I was trying to see. Oh, that's so you don't like. It's got to be like a little surgery video, though. You know, like one of those 3D oh, yeah, just animations. Type in to- Tommy John surgery. Oh, yeah, word. Yeah, that's the name of it. Oh, yeah. Dude, shout out to Mountain Mountain Melts, dude. This shit's fire as fuck. Oh, I, 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 I got the spritzer in my hands right now. This shit is turpy. The spritz. Ew. I don't want to see a real one. I see, oh, 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 no, no. I don't want to see all that shit, man. I don't want to see all that fuck, shit. Dude. My bad, man. My bad, my fuck, bad. Oh, bro. Fuck, what the fuck oh, was that? Fuck, man. Why do they show that shit, what man? What the fuck? Why are they bro, showing that wide shit? wide open. Show me a fucking... Oh, my fucking God. No 3D animation is puke. crazy, man. Type in 3D animation. <laughs> Maybe we should type that in. God damn it. Yeah, we'll go on Google Images. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. No. We're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling. Look, we're on safe search, bro. Thank God. Like it's a few ligaments in there. Damn. No, little that shit, bridge. That shit just explodes, and then they got to, like, attach it, retach it. That's fucked up. It's crazy how you can just keep re- reattaching it, too. Or it's crazy how, like, back in the day, I think this used to, like, fuck your career. Like, it used to be fucked, like, for sure. But now you can just, like, oh, like, let me get a surgery real quick. Like, don't worry. And you're not even out for that long nowadays. That's crazy. Surgery is honestly insane. Yeah, health surgery is crazy. Imagine surgery back in the day, just like a fucking Oops. rock or just. No, nah, there was no surgery back <laughs> in the day. You know what they used to do? Just cut your shit off. Oh. Oh, you have a cut? Guess what? We'll just cut your fucking leg yeah, off. When did? No big deal. There was definitely <laughs> surgery before anesthesia. Or anesthesia. <laughs> sure. Yeah. I wonder yeah, when sure. that. Anesthesia is only like the past couple hundred years, probably. You know what a lobotomy is? Oh, yeah. They were doing lobotomies for like hundreds and hundreds yeah. of years, right? That's just crazy. They were just scrambling motherfuckers' brains. Talking about, we gonna fix you. I wonder, wow. shit. I mean, it had to have worked sometimes because they kept doing it, right? Like, it had to have worked on like some people and they're like, I don't shit, know. we gotta I think it just, it. I think it just made people, instead of being crazy, they just made them stupid and like <laughs> docile. They just made them a fucking zombie. A like, who they do it? I think they did it to uh, Kennedy's daughter or something like that and then that's when they created like uh look google ai says yes lobotomies like were sometimes effective bruh what does I that wonder mean what they were trying to cure though what the intended yeah. effect of a lobotomy is reduced tension or agitation and so they made him into a zombie that's not that's not successful <laughs> what the fuck? However, many also <laughs> others also showed many other effects such as apathy Passivity, passivity, lack of initiative, poor ability to concentrate. It just really turned them into like bums. They like, turned them into a zombie, bro. <laughs> lack of initiative, so they, funny. They, they just didn't want to do it. They anything. cut a hole in their fucking head and fucking. <laughs> what the fuck? Nah, bro. Bad tech. That's hilarious. Bad and the general bro. decreased depth and intensity of their emotional response to life. It made them just. Holy dead. shit. Just dead it really just made them fucking, yeah, bro. No response, bro. It's Was crazy. there ever a successful lobotomy? Let's see. Bruh, what in is 1942, it? they had lobotomized more than 200 patients and published the results. They reported that 63% of their patients had improved, while 24% saw no change and they 14% reported. became worse. They reported That's that. good odds, buddy. They That's reported good that. odds. I'm going to talk to the patients. Odds. Oh, wait. The patients can't talk anymore. Look, he became a fucking alpha. He became a G. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Giga. Giga, Chad. Holy shit. He actually just became a Chad. Started smoking. That's is that AI? Weird. Did someone AI him? <laughs> that, I don't think the picture on the right's real. Hold no, on, it dude. is. That's what? Fucking... She became fucking cool too. Oh, she looked mean in the left one. What the fuck? Yeah, she looked mean. She looked mean as. She was fuck. just ready to take on the world. Maybe it's the opposite though. What if we're reading it the other way around? They oh. were like good at first, and then they got fucked up. Oh man, how crazy! Really? They just look completely different. It's crazy. Like you can tell they're the same person almost. Nah, I don't trust it. 
I don't trust it, man. She is no longer bothered by her fears and obsessions. Yeah, because she doesn't feel anything. Huh? Um, three years after her second lobotomy. Oh, no. Whoa. Oh, no. This 32-year-old teller operator was first operated on in December 1936 by uh, Moniz Technique. She improved slowly and moderately, then relapsed. Oh. Photo taken in 19-something before her prefrontal lobotomy. No. Shows strained expression. Yeah, she does look a little worried right there. I'm not going to lie. Damn, she looks carefree as fuck. Nah, bro. Just doesn't care about nothing. She nah. even grew some hair back. Nah, I don't trust She's it. She's lit, bro. Maybe this shit worked. I don't trust it, dog. I don't know, man. I don't look trust it. Like Damn, this one looks like 20 years <laughs> younger. Shit. They just did it on like frazzled people. Do you think this was all just fake news? It looks like it helped some people. It doesn't seem like it worked. <laughs> it doesn't, honestly. <laughs> It doesn't. They just made, told him to smile in the second picture. See, they're putting it like Survivor. Like, a lot of them died, I guess. Bro, they're Survivor smashing their brain. Wait, what the fuck? 2005? Yeah, whoa, it was a crazy old article. I fuck with that. Dang. That's not that old. 2005? But this is like, they were counting an old memory, oh. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, they were why counting were they an old doing memory. that yeah, in yeah. 20 years it ago? It was first performed in 1935 in Portugal. When was the last one? Way by Moniz. It was the same guy in this little thing. That's crazy. He was famous, I guess. It was one of the few guys that did it. He was just smashing brains up. Whoa. Crazy technique, homeboy. Just smashing brains. A little Wikipedia and everything. Damn, they're really just moking. Working on some motherfuckers. It's a discredited discredited form of neurological treatment. It's trying to fix epilepsy disorders that involves severing connection in the brain's... Bruh. Whoa. Let's just cut some shit in the brain. Dude. The surgery ah. causes most of the connections to and from the free frontal cortex, the anterior part of the brain, to be severed. So it's just your fucking... Just yeah, turning that's what it makes off. like the... <laughs> yeah, you're just you're turning <laughs> it off, bro. No fucking Dude, shot. that's crazy. Damn, look, this is what you use to what plan, decision make, memorize things, express personal, moderate social behavior. You just, you just a nothing at that Control point. certain aspects of speech and language. This like made you a human. Basically, that's literally. This is literally all the stuff that like makes you a human. The other shit, now you're just going about your day. <laughs> yeah, you're just a little. You're just in the matrix. You can't plan or decision make. What do you do? That is, you're an NPC. <laughs> You do what you're told. They said that person had less, what was it, fucking a lack of initiative? Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Just don't do nothing all day? <laughs> exactly. Like, hey, get like, up. Are, like, eh. Now, if you tell me like, to do something, I'm not do it. Want Now, to. you just got to tell them what to do. It's an NPC. Oh, you got, you got to if you tell them what to do, they'll just like, okay. Well, they, they have no desire to tell you now. <laughs> <laughs> so, fuck it. He's just like, yo, Holy it's time to work. Shit. They're like, okay. Maybe they stopped them because it was like evil, you know? Yeah, you're like basically controlling. It's like mind control. Whoa! You make them nice so they're easy to easy to uh, manipulate. Is that a tinfoil hat conspiracy, or are That's you what speaking I'm, facts? I right just now? threw that one out right there. You might be speaking facts with my free will that I still have because I didn't get lobotomized. <laughs> 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 Fucking hell, bro. Oh, that's why that's an insult. When you call him a lobotomite, you're like, you're a fucking I've idiot, literally bro. Like, never <laughs> heard that. You've never heard that? Ever. I've heard that. I've heard it only online on like some Reddit shit. It's definitely just like a Reddit insult. You're a lobotomite. <laughs> Damn, bro. You're telling me I got my brain smashed. <laughs> that's actually, actually a funny ass insult. That's hilarious. <laughs> I hope I see someone use that now. Right? You gotta be. Damn, that's so interesting. Well, shit. At least we don't live in this time no more. Bro, I would have been fucked. I would have been like, oh, you have a neurological issue? Come here, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna smash your fucking brain in, dog. Damn! By 1951, twenty thousand lobotomies oh had been performed God. in the United States. Just in the U.S. too. How many were they doing in like a third world country? They were like, "Oh, check this out! Smash brain." <laughs> <laughs> Just shook them like it's a fake. <laughs> oh my! Like, God. We don't have the tools, but we'll give you like a real. Uh, this is a, this adult chic. <laughs> Whoa! It said that sixty percent of lobotomies were performed on women. <laughs> That's actually insane. Why. Oh, there you go. First in the Soviet Union and in Europe. Damn. When was the last one? Oh, when was the last lobotomy? That's actually yeah. a crazy question. Yeah, I guess we just Google that shit. But do you think they'll still do lobotomies in some part of the world? Yeah. <laughs> They're still like, this is the way. The last known lobotomy in the U.S. was 1967. 1967. He performed it on a patient who actually died from <laughs> died from him doing it. That's fucked. <laughs> and ended in the death of the person on whom it was performed. Oh, my God. They go in through bruh. your eye, bro. They go in through your eye. That is nope. fucked. 
No. That is fucked. No. They even got a little timeline of things right no. here. I need another dab. Yeah, you need another dab for that one they for sure. When did they up. start this? They'd have been like, yo, you have neurological issues. We are definitely, definitely lobotomizing Tim. Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> Toss that over. Yeah, Cephalus eating a fucking ice cream right now, and I got so oh, jealous. I just it looks got like a paleta. So, it looks like a paleta. I just got no, so no, no. jealous right now. Is that I a looked at that. And I'm like, God damn, that looks delicious, <laughs> dude. It's all in the sun and shit, all shining. It looks it looks like a strawberry. Yeah, I love yeah, a good like strawberry. A fruit, like real fruit, maybe. Nah, look good. Like a strawberry. Watermelon. Oh, that's interesting. I'm that's jealous. Interesting. Yo, I had sushi the other day. I had watermelon on, and it was very. Uh, was it good? It was actually pretty decent. It was pretty yeah, interesting. It like was watermelon, like slices. Yeah, it had a watermelon slice on the bottom, and then a piece of fish, and then like. A little piece of basil on top. It was crazy. All right. It was maybe one of the most intense things I've ever eaten. I was like, Did you like it? I don't know. Confusing. Confusing. But good. But like, I would eat it again for sure. Didn't spit it out. Nah, nah, no doubt. Fucking there we go. It was trying new things. Like, yum, 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 you know? Hey, Puffco just got delivered. I've been looking for this bad oh, boy. Perfect. Look at that. Hell yeah. You'll be able to take your dad faster than me. We got some new flavors on deck, man. Shout out that boy, Jace. If you haven't seen yeah. the Jace episode, make sure you check that out, man. One of my Lampire. favorites. Paya. Lemon papaya. I like I that. I like that. Yeah, lemon papaya sounds very delicious. I can't I've been dabbing this spritzer. Ooh, oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. I forgot you got this spritzer over here, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm yeah, a yeah. big fan of this spritz. Damn. Uh, this smells like candy. It smells fire. It actually smells like a fruit. It tastes just like it smells. Really? Like that, identical. That smells crazy, bro. It smells like a gummy bear. like Gummy, gummy bear. No, oh, you know what it smells like? Gummy bear. What are those? Smarties. It smells like Smarties. It smells exactly like some fucking Smarties. It's crazy. That's so weird. Yeah, it smells. <laughs> it's a like great, a sugar. That's a great description of this jar. Holy moly, guacamole, man. Things are falling apart in the Pine Park studio. <laughs> we got to get to the house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Things are falling apart. It's all right. We'll get that motherfucking crib <laughs> soon, baby. I'm excited about it. You need this? I will take that, actually. Thank you, my good sir. What do we got here? We got a little video to watch or new something? New piece of content we're doing? Uh-oh. New oh. piece of... Oh, dude. Someone's going to die from this. What is it? Is it a tire rolling down the hill? Oh, brother. Oh, fuck. <gasps> nah, no oh, way. That's actually so no. crazy lucky. I'm doing nah, it. I'll do no it with way. the helmet on. I'll do it with the helmet. Oh, dude. Oh, they're bowling. Oh, man. He chucked yeah, that he thing. Yeah, he chucked that motherfucker. Dude, oh. that would like break your rib or something for sure, bro. What? Bro, it might break your face. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, what if it bounces up and just like takes bro, your fucking head off? That's one bounce off. away from breaking so your jaw. I'm actually like, yeah, fucking your whole world up. I thought it she was acts like she's not going to get hit either. She acts like shit sweet, but she's going to get hit one of these days, bro. She's going to get smacked. Oh, it's a dude. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I was like I'm was pretty positive that's a male. <laughs> this guy, do you think there's any women involved in this? <laughs> yeah, I was like, you think there's a not girl's a going to this shit, dog? What the fuck? The hillbilly wife? Like, yeah. Oh, fuck, <laughs> dude. Is hillbilly a slur? Can I say that? I'm from Texas. I'm from Texas. I can say that shit. Hey, I'm there's offended. No hey, man. I'm going to need you to hey. calm down. I can't say that. I'll fuck my cousin do that hey. shit. Hey. I'm gonna go home and fuck my cousin. Hey, <laughs> damn, he does a little bro. Toss he's as well. shocking uh. this thing. He's mad. I thought it was bouncing right there and killing him. Dude, it bounces off of him right on his dick. <laughs> Pain is inevitable. <laughs> Suffering is optional. He's speaking. He's spitting. Be a man. They did get lucky with this. That guy's though. a bitch. Yeah, he did. He did bitch You're out. He did bitch out. Pussy. His knee got right off the ground. You're a fucking pussy, dude. Look, Look at him. him. No, he moves his hip. Tucks yeah, his in so knee hard. moves completely. They should have kicked him out the game right there. This guy stays. You're he's gonna get. He's ready for impact. He's like putting his face in the air. He was like, "Fuck, I'm fucked. pussy, dude." That is some pussy shit. I that can't guy lie. is the biggest. They should have kicked him out for sure. <laughs> you can't play anymore, you fucking weenie. You don't fuck with that man. Nah, dude. We're all fucking in this together, and you over here puss out when it's oh. your turn to get some pain. You're right. Fuck you're that. Damn, you're right. That's trash. God, I'm so full. Egg slut. <laughs> Egg slut, man. If you guys didn't watch the newest episode, all right, the oh, newest yeah, episode cool, of uh, The Munch, we went to Egg Slut. All right? It's not as crazy as it sounds, but it was a slutty-ass egg. I will say she was busting everywhere. Yours was busting? I'm, I was telling, busting. I'm not going to tell you The meat story. was meaty. The eggs were dripping. It was crazy, man. It was crazy. Make sure to check out that episode of The Munch dropping crazy. real soon. Probably next week by the time you can watch this, actually. Oh, it's dab time. No, it's dab time. Oh! PuffCon time, dab time. Are you going to be at PuffCon? You should come. Yeah, I might slide with Josefa. Slide through, guys. Slide yeah. on through. Come support your uh, ultimate dab fucking 
mission on the stage. We want to see you fucking shining up there, Thanks, everybody. Man. If we can add a couple more people to the fucking number, you know? <coughs> oh, I got y'all. Come through. <coughs> we'll make sure we get get everybody fucking smoking. But I'm stoked, man. As soon as I saw the post, I was like, oh, that's fucking sweet. That's fucking gassed up. Let me see that knife over there, bud. Thank you, sir. What would you rate that blunt we smoked earlier? I didn't even talk about it. Honestly, it was really good. Yeah, it was chill, right? I, didn't, I, didn't, I actually fucked with that blunt way more than I thought I would. I didn't like, I wasn't, hate it. Yeah, I wasn't too crazy head high. The tobacco didn't hit too crazy. Not, um, not lightheaded at all. I feel yeah, like the I flavor didn't. wasn't too overwhelming. I fucked with that blunt, honestly. I don't know. I don't know if, what, what that means. If, like, it's less quality tobacco. Right, what does that mean? I don't like, know what that means, but I'm not That's why I like the Brothers Broadleaves, because they don't get me too fucked up. Like this, I can smoke this, and it doesn't get me, like, I'm not tweaking. But I feel like it's really quality tobacco. You know, people love yeah, I those. I don't know. I just don't know. People gotta, people gotta let us know, man. What's up with the tobacco stuff? I'm we got comments from last time. We got comments. Why you take that, Dad? Matt, what you got for us? My craziest plug story. Oh, hell yeah. One of my plugs happened to go. Wait, one of my plugs happened to go high school with me and also injured my shoulder during football. Oh, well, what a story. Anyway, <laughs> this year he just got arrested for trying to smuggle illegal immigrants. Ooh, Damn, he was working for Kamala Harris. That's, that's a different crazy. kind of <laughs> that's yeah. a different kind of trap right there. <laughs> Jason liked that one. <laughs> that's a very different kind of trap. I fuck with that man. Jason liked that one so much. <laughs> he laughed so loud at that one. <laughs> Damn, that's probably like that's way wild, more though. risky, but you get way more of a reward. I bet. Like, what's the price of like, one? You see the YouTube video? Or he takes the picture and he gives him a thumbs up after? No, no, I think it might be the Channel Five homie where <laughs> what. <laughs> They're like interviewing the coyotes. Oh, no way. <laughs> They're talking about how much money they make and shit. They make a lot? Bro. Dummy amount. Dumb rats. Who's paying for those? Oh, they're getting trafficked people. over here. <laughs> mm. or, or if the people want to come to America, they got to pay someone. Oh, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, dumb man. rats, bro. It's like Just fucking whipping it. Thousands per person. You. Yeah, no doubt. I wouldn't do it for a few hundred. No doubt. Thousands per person. And they take in. Uh, Dozens at a time, you know? Yeah, yeah. So they make they might be thinking oh, 100, shit, a 100 few, a lick. Oh, a few runs, and you're set. There's that video of, um like, someone's on the American side, and they're taking the video of all that they're running through, and the coyote's on the back, and he, like, waves at the camera. Yeah, he's like, he's yeah. Like, <laughs> and gives a I'm thumbs up. <laughs> Thanks for the show. Or there's, man. like, uh, yeah, yeah, he's um he's taking, like, video proof, like Amazon. Yeah, like I did it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Package <laughs> delivered, package delivered. He's like, I got him through, we're chilling. <laughs> I like that. Joey, what you got for Joey Bonzo? My yeah, Joey's time. always leaving comments. Yeah, I he's a good dude. Guy, I fuck with you, Joey. Thank you so much for showing love, man. My craziest time as a plug would be getting, would be going with my homies to government housing okay. right as it's sundown and okay. being left in the car for like an hour as one of our other boys in there getting a pound re-up since it was our first time with this grower. We got the fuck out of there as cops were pulling up and we honestly went to a side tree to calm our nerves and divvy some shit up. Um, was blessed that my boy handed me a few extra nugs for free to keep up or for to keep. As we're going to drop people back at home, I kid you not, nine cop cars are right outside my boy's building and we're all fucking panicking. Turns out there was a gang shooting in his building. Crazy times, man. <laughs> Fuck. <gasps> Could have turned out fucking building. terrible. Yeah, no doubt. That sounds like, horrible, man. Got busted because there was a shooting. Oh, sounds awful. Sounds damn near awful. Royal Toki, what you got for us? Uh, the only time I've gotten fucked over on weed with the plug was when I got sold a bag of some bud like a year ago. Met the homie who had, quote, the new pack in his uh -oh. apartment parking lot late at night, like 10 p.m. Quick transaction. Didn't get to look at it, really. Uh, get back to the other homie's crib and light up a bowl and another and another. And I ended up not being stoned at all. Texted the plug, and he said, spin back. When I did... He took back the boof bud, probably 26 grams at this point, and gave me a half zip of some bud from the dispo. Interesting. Uh -huh. He helped you. That's kind of a cool plug, I guess. What the fuck? He gave you a little... I mean, at least he took it back, right? Yeah, yeah, swap and exchange. I was living in Mississippi at the time, and the closest dispensary was in Illinois, so dispo bud was rare. I was stoked to see. I feel like that turned out well. Yeah, it turned out well. He didn't fuck you over. He's a good dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was like, to, he, oh, that's shit, like you don't the like custody that? test. He's like, are you going to be a custody or are you going to hit me back? Yeah. Now he's giving you the respectable pack. Now he's like, I'll get that good shit. <laughs> but you only get, but you're only getting 14 grand. <laughs> yeah, true. That's rough. Blazing Waffles, what do you got for us? Definitely love these opening skits you guys have been doing. I'm always stoked seeing the new things out here on Pine Park. I think it'd be dope if you brought a grape nuts cross with GMO. Oh. Or maybe a grape nut cross with garlic cocktail cross for some Pine Park, Arizona. Oh, oh, shit. We're just bringing it everywhere. All right. Especially in a nice rosin. Well, shit, man. You're asking for everything. All right. Well, I'm down for to give you it all. I want it too. I for sure... 
uh, dab that distillate until I couldn't scoop it anymore, and I don't miss that stuff nowadays. <laughs> Especially as a med patient, staying properly medicated for long periods of time without going overboard is rough. Yep. If I could just rip a rig and get to it, things would be a lot nicer. Mm. I'm hoping to be in the industry uh, in some fashion soon, but luckily I haven't held my breath on it because I've been cooked damn near. Wait, whoa! Because I'd have been cooked damn near a decade ago. Much love, you guys. Excited for the future. Excited, man. I'm excited for Blazing the future waffles. as well. We love Blazing you. Waffles. We appreciate I you. I fucking love you, my good sir. Uh, speaking of that blunt we smoked earlier, let us know in the comments what's the uh, worst blunt you've ever smoked. Ooh. Let us know about that. And um, we might just run it up again uh, with the whole lineup of blunts soon. That'd be pretty fun. Maybe a little crazy blunt episode. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this one. I'm super high. Make sure to check out Base Smokes. Get some free weed. Tim, anything to say to the people before we get out of here? Man, I appreciate you guys, man. Thank you for watching. Um, we will be uh, getting this new content to you guys very soon. I know we keep saying it. We got new shows and stuff. But it takes some time, you know, to make sure we get these new shows, you know, ready for consistency. We don't want to just give you one episode and then it doesn't come with following. Um, but we got a bunch of new shit cooking for you guys. Can't wait for you guys to see it. And uh, looking forward to uh, just all the good content we got, man. Very sexy. Very sexy. Make sure to get your Pine Park if you are in any of our legal states. And I'll see you in the next one next mm. week. Peace. Later, guys. Now let's go oh, yeah. break up with your plug. Break up with the plug. That's the skit I think we have. I like the skits. I do like the skits. <laughs> <laughs>